Good morning, modern steaders. Today we have a snow day. We're supposed to be getting around six to nine inches of snow today. There's a lot of places that are south of us that are getting that much or more. I guess it's the first blizzard of 2018. Olivia's got the day off. This is gonna be a good, fun snow day. The first thing we gotta take care of this morning. That's right, nothing. The darn fan don't work. The question is, how many times do you replace the fan even if it's under warranty? We're going on our third fan. The first fan we put in, I think it lasted a week, and then it pooped the bed. The second fan, this one, lasted six months. We've been living here for over a year. This fan probably has been working for over a year. I'm just frustrated with it and I hate to have to keep reinstalling them. I got another one the other day. I need to reinstall it. Then this one will go back. Oh, the, the thing is, is we need a big fan for this area. But we don't want to spend an arm and a leg for one. We want one that looks nice. And this is the one we found. But it don't last. So when do you switch out to a different style fan or bite the bullet and spend more money? Let's switch this let's switch this out today. Keep our fingers crossed. It lasts for more than six months. I think what some of the issue is is there's no you have your switch for it, but you can't control the fan other than the remote. I think it's something to do with the wireless connection between the remote and the fan. But what can you do? situation. I wired my house so I know when I shut the switch off to the fan, the power is off. But if you're not sure, sometimes houses can be wired when the switch is off. There's still power up here. It's kind of weird the way you can wire some switches. So shut off your breaker. You don't want to get bit. one way to take care of dusting, but I do need to take this all apart and I need our rod extension. Bummer. So I would not recommend this fan. It's nice looking, but it don't last. You know when you have one of those jobs you can't stand doing? Fans are one of those for me. And that's why this fan has been here not fixed for a long time. pot that stinks is then you gotta take the first one all apart to get it back in the box. Oh, frustrating to say the least. So what you do, so if you wanna hand me, you gotta insert them in here. Okay. You wanna hold it just like that. And we'll try to line up the hole. It's not heavy. No. Good. I just gotta pitch my legs so that twice. Ah. Oh. Alright, so you want to hand me another fan blade. So Olivia picked out what we're having for dinner tonight. So the main part, I picked out a pork tenderloin. Want to hold the blade? Yeah. So the question is, what do you want to have with the pork tenderloin? What do we have? Yeah, could do carrots, potatoes, like a roast with onions on it. We can do green beans. We can do green beans too. Green beans and mashed potatoes. And green beans and mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. So 
So after, if you want to open that bag and try to find one more screw, okay. I'm short. Sure. So after this. And get this one screw started. Yeah, insulation. Put that in place. And, no, before you... So hold this for a minute. So white to white. Black to black. Yep. Why do you have to undo that one? Because those two slide and this one's mm -hmm. just a straight. You want to open up the box of light bulbs. There's three of them over on the eye of the end table. Thank you. The other thing I don't like about the fan is the tiny bases. These are the only non-LED light bulbs that we have in the house. I'm sure I could probably find them on Amazon, but I bet you they'd be pretty darn expensive. Mm. And then the glass bowl over there, I'll take that. Oh, yeah. Here goes nothing. Let's see if we can get this into position. You better not turn all of me up there. Wait, do I have to put that harbor breeze thing up there? I will have to. We make sure it works. Oh, okay. So hold on. First, we need to turn the power onto it. Okay. Nothing. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. There's the fan. Now it's the light bulb. What the heck? It's slow. <laughs> it's working. It works. I think that's on high. Let's turn it down. Yeah, turn it off. Ooh, I feel some more breeze. Shut it off so I can get back up there. Do you want to turn the light off? It's stopping. The cool thing about the remote is it has, it's got a sun and a snowflake, so it changes the fan direction depending on the time of the year. Okay, so now the switch works. All right, shut the switch off, and I'm gonna go back up there and finish putting it together. Okay. You wanna go up there and finish it? No. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Now comes the fun part, getting all the old parts and pieces back into the box. It seems like you can never get everything to fit back exactly the way it came. The struggle is real. How does some homemade leftover chicken and barley soup sound for lunch? Good. Awesome. Where's that Tupperware thing that mom was talking about? I don't know where she put it. The other day we made a nice big batch of chicken and barley soup. That's what we're gonna have for lunch. We used one of our pasture-raised chickens. We made a nice bone broth with it too. We did all of it in the instant pot. Made this 
nice bread that we brought over to some friend's house last night. It came out awesome. Even better, we have a bunch left over to go perfect with our soup today. Careful. I think we need to let that cool off for a few minutes. Oh, okay. oh poor mom's gotta work. We get to have a snow day. And some delicious soup. With some good bread. And a new light. Oh, that looked pretty over there. You want to help get dinner ready? Yep. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to be doing a tenderloin. A pork tenderloin from our piggies, huh? Mm-hmm. Trying to get it. Oh, I'll unwrap it. Is it Saran wrap. Okay, so All right. You want to get the bag of onions, and we can dump that right over. All of them. All of it, right over. Do a little bit of minced garlic. Now, tenderloin does not have a lot of fat in it, so we're gonna cook this low and slow. That's what we're using the crock pot. I'm gonna add some chicken broth. Just a little bit more liquid and fat. Pink Himalayan salt. That's good. Perfect. Put the lid on it. Turn it on low. And that is dinner preparing for us. You ready to try some pork tenderloin? Get some mashed potatoes and green beans like you wanted. You better eat them. What she asked for. What she asked for. Because I was going to do. I want to do roasted potatoes and carrots. And I said, what do you want? Let's see what she does. What you reading? Double down. Double down? Is it good? Yeah. Awesome. And your light you help installed today? Mm-hmm. Good job. I kind of continue cooking. Cookies. <laughs> I had one after lunch, and I said, "Oh, they're getting hard." I for some fresh ones. I almost done anyway. The girl wants a cookie. No cookies for you. Give a cat a cookie. He won't leave you alone. He wants a nap. He 
don't want lots of stuff. You already want some stuff. Yep. Every time we have, do something. Spoil! Spoil! Yeah, you. Spoiled. Yeah, we're talking about you. Get the can, can of tuna out the other day and what a soft cat food. No, I really Freak don't it out. want it. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow on Lesson 8 for our guide to modern homesteading, self sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. Mm -hmm. Cookie time. Uh oh, it broke. Ah, uh, it's the one you gotta eat, the broken one.